I am Kalia Williams. I'm a graduate of the GTU, and I am currently the Associate Dean of Worship and Music, as well as Associate Professor in the Practice of Worship at Candler School of Theology at Emory University. So I chose the GTU because I was looking for a program that would really allow me to focus my studies in worship. And so there's not a lot of liturgical studies, PhD programs out here in the US. Um, so I started there, but I also wanted to have an opportunity to bring some of the interdisciplinary work that I do. A part of my research I knew going in would be exploring um, dance and, and how embodiment intersects with um, religious experience. And the GTU was like the perfect place because it allowed me to study at the GTU while also doing a concentration over at UC Berkeley in the performance studies area. So getting the kind of the marriage of the two was ideal and it wasn't a situation where I would have to figure out how to make it work. It really was a program that was so completely open to this interdisciplinary exploration. Like they welcomed it and I felt like that was, that's the right place. I needed somewhere that welcomed that kind of exploration. I will say from the time I stepped foot on GTU's campus, even till now, I could not have found a more supportive group of faculty and scholars who worked with me on my um, my committees. They were amazing and really worked me hard, but did it in such a loving way that brought out the best of my voice as I was trying to find it. And I, I hear stories other places and, um, and not everyone has that kind of experience, but I think the GTU cultivates this environment of support that is remarkable, or at least was remarkable for me in my own experience. The biggest impact was sitting in a consortium that was heavily rooted in interfaith engagement that allowed you, or allowed me rather, to literally walk from one ecclesial tradition to another ecclesial tradition to a whole nother religious expression right within a few blocks um, of my, my journey. That had a huge impact on me because now as I'm doing the work that I do within a theological institution, it allows me to be completely open and sensitive to difference in religious expression and then to figure out ways of really enhancing and engaging um, the interfaith dialogue. How do we create spaces for those who are on the margins? Like it just gave me um, this living space to figure that out and what that meant while I was studying and it became inherent within me. So now it's a part of my thought process. That's a huge impact when I think about it. Even when I'm teaching classes that are focused on womanist worship or feminist worship that primarily center on Christian traditions as we're reflecting and those who sit in the class, most folks in the class um, will come out of some form of Christian tradition. We're able to expand the conversation so much more. I don't think I would even have had that thought process had I not just been a part of that consortium. So I think, yeah, the biggest impact is just how we're situated and the way we align ourselves because it, it did something that was subconscious um, and, and really has now become a natural part of my own thought process and how I navigate theological education as a whole. My time at the GTU, because I was able to really incorporate the performance studies into my program, it has allowed me to think creatively about how we do worship here. And so bringing a lot of the artistic expression in, but not just in a way that says, oh, this is pretty, it looks nice. Yay, we have dancers in a worship service, but figuring out and doing the reflective work of why are they in this service? Why are they, what's the theological um, 
impact of having creative expressions in the services. That's something that I definitely got from the GTU because those were questions that my committee was asking me as I was working through dance study and trying to figure out what we can learn from dance in theological education. And so that remains the same. What can we glean from the creative arts as we worship? What can we glean from the creative arts to shape our own theological mindset? Um, as we think about being religious leaders in different contexts. So that's a huge impact there that's, that showed me there's a space to really do that work and the creative and the religious don't have to, to be separate. Like they really do come together in beautiful ways and can be utilized in, as teaching tools and can be utilized as ways of bringing a whole community together. I also sit on now, I'm a, a new, one of the newest, maybe newer members of the, the GTU board. And so that's an obvious, like I had such a great experience. I want to be able to turn around and give back and um, help steward the institution in whatever way that I can. And so that's very important to me to, to be able to invest um, into the institution in a way that um, I think helps. So when you have an institution like the GTU that's doing the kind of work that we're doing, we need the support in order to do that. And so that support, first and foremost, starts with the financial support. So our donors, annual gifts that get made are extremely important because it takes money to run an institution. Um, in addition to that, so I think that's the first level of commitment that I, I, I would always recommend and that I myself lean into is the, the financial commitment so the operation of the institution can really run um, smoothly. And then in addition to that, just the support of what the institution is doing, what GTU is doing, where GTU is going, showing up, getting involved, uh, being an active alumni is important to me as well because we are, the growth happens when a community fuels that growth. The expansion happens when a community is standing behind and really helping move it along. And the more involved that we are, those of us who are in this world working and doing all of this, we're able to help inform the future vision. And I think that's important. We have an amazing president, but he should not be the only one giving the lending a voice of where we're going. And I think the fruit of a, a, a supportive um, community is so important to being informed on where the vision is heading, to think about who can help drive that vision as well as help fuel that vision financially. Deepening this interfaith connection that we are continuing to do is what excites me. GTU has been at the forefront of that initiative, I, I feel, uh, and I might be biased, but I feel like we've been at the forefront of really recognizing the expansiveness of theological education and beginning to put communities together in close proximity uh, to really explore what it means to exist together. I think the way that we are uh, emphasizing and, and furthering our, our commitments in that work excites me because that's where the world is and that's not going to change. And so from my perspective, if students are coming in for PhDs or master's degrees and they're coming in to do this theological work, doing it in that kind of a community that really does take seriously the necessity of us being trained and becoming really adept at, at coexisting, uh, it's crucial and it's that's the place to be. And so I'm, I'm just excited that we continue to be at the forefront of thinking about how to do that and how to do it right and, and, and making it a way that um, really does bridge community. Because there's one thing that you can bring folks together, but there's still silos and everyone operates in their silo. And there's another one to say, so how do we now, we brought everyone together, how do we now really shape the fullness of this community so we're learning how to coexist? That's the part that really gets me excited.